let's take our equations of state and now apply them to a specific example here to see what they predict for the pressure in this situation. So we've got um, a rectangular prism here of side 0.5 meters, 1.2 meters, and 1.8 meters. Notice that I've chosen to have four significant figures on all three of those values. And inside of this container, we're going to have 100 moles of argon gas. The temperature is going to be 273.0 Kelvin, and we want to predict what the pressure is going to be according to these equations of state. Okay, so first of all, we have the ideal gas equation of state which is going to be that PV bar equals RT, pressure times molar volume equals gas constant times temperature. And if we rearrange that, solving for pressure, we're going to get that P equals RT over V bar, seeing that inverse correlation between molar volume and pressure, which is standard in that type of gas law. Okay, and then what about the Van der Waals gas law? Well, for the Van der Waals equation of state, Van der Waals gas law, we have P plus parameter A over V bar squared, A signifying the strength of the intermolecular interactions, and then V bar minus B, B signifying molecular size as a parameter, equals RT. Now if we rearrange this equation for pressure, what we're going to find is slightly more complicated, P equals RT over V bar minus B, all in one term there, minus A over V bar squared. Okay, so we want to solve these two equations here for the pressure. Those two there. Okay, so first of all, we're going to get what our molar volume is. So our, our total volume is just the space which the particles have access to. So that's going to be 0 0.5000 meters times 1.2000 meters times 1.8000 meters equals, and then the multiplication of these three ends up giving us a volume of, with four significant figures, 1.080 meters cubed. And that would be the SI unit for volume meters cubed. And then inside of this volume there's 100 moles of gas. So our molar volume V bar is just V over N. So that's 1.080 meters cubed over 100 moles. Again four sig figs on each. And then that is just very simply going to give us 0 0.01080 meters cubed per mole. So that's the molar volume, or you can think of that as a density of the gas. Okay, so for the Van der Waals equation of state, we're also going to need to look up in a table what the value of this A and B parameter is as well. Those are uh, dependent on what the gas molecule is. The ideal gas equation doesn't care what gas you have, but Van der Waals gas equation does. We need to find what the values of these two parameters are, and they don't depend on anything except for the identity of the gas. So we are going to have that A for argon is going to be 1.331. Then we need to pay attention to the units here. That is decimeters cubed per mole, that whole quantity squared, atmospheres. Okay, so what units are we going to be working in here? We're going to be working in Kelvin. There's no temperature there, so that doesn't matter. We're going to be working in meters cubed per mole for our density, so we want to get that into meters cubed per mole. And um, this atmospheres, we we may as well go into Pascal's here because we're going to want to work in terms of SI units while we're solving this equation here and then convert back to atmospheres if we want. So I want to get this into meters cubed per mole squared Pascal's. So in order to do that unit conversion, I'm going to multiply times 1 
meter cubed squared is a meter to the sixth. And then a decimeter is one tenth of a meter. So 10 decimeters is a meter. So 10 to the sixth decimeters to the sixth is one, deci is one meter to the sixth, as we can see there. And then for atmospheres, one atmosphere is equal to 101,325 pascals, 101,325 pascals. So this is going to end up being 0 0.1349, after we plug through that calculation, meters cubed per mole squared pascals. So that's our final unit for A for argon. And if we want to look at this for the parameter B, the kind of molar volume or size of the argon molecules, that we get as 0 0.3183. And that unit is a volume, so it is given just as decimeters cubed per mole. And you can also remember that a decimeter cubed is a liter. So once again, if we want to convert this to the same unit so we can use it in this calculation here, we're just going to put that um, one meter to the sixth here, or sorry, one meter cubed this time, because there's only one of them. Meter cubed over 10 to the third decimeters cubed. So converting that to meters cubed per mole, that's going to be take us from 3.183 times 10 to the minus 2 to 3.183 times 10 to the minus 5th, and that is meters cubed per mole. So you can imagine that would be the volume of a mole of argon atoms if they were completely packed to get together, or that's at least what it would be according to the van der Waals equation of state for argon. Okay, so we have those two parameters now, so let's go ahead with our original calculation. So for the ideal gas law, P is just going to equal RT, R is 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin, times temperature being 273.0 Kelvin for this example, divided by and we have our molar volume, which we calculated to be 0 0.01080 meters cubed per mole. And if you work out through the units of all of that, you'll end up with Newton per meter squared, which is Pascals. So the original unit we get in this in is Pascals, and that would be 210,159 Pascals. Now for our final answer, we, got to, we have to remember that we only had four significant figures for each of these. So when we convert back to atmospheres, we'll keep that in mind and we'll only report four significant figures. Okay, so then according to the van der Waals equation of state, we have RT, again 8.314 joules per mole Kelvin, and temperature 273. 0 Kelvin divided by V bar is 0 0.01080 meters cubed per mole minus B which we have as 3.183 times 10 to the minus fifth meters cubed per mole that's our first term. And then from that we subtract the second term, A over V squared. And for A, we have 0 0.1349 meters cubed per mole squared pascals over molar volume squared, 0 0.01080 meters cubed per mole and then that whole term gets squared. And then that equals and gives us a final pressure for the van der Waals equation of state of 210,000 
607 pascals once you crunch through all of that calculation there. So if we convert back into atmospheres, which is just dividing by 100, 1,325, it's the reverse of the unit conversion we did right here. If we convert the, each of these two back into atmospheres, which kind of gives us a more intuitive feel. We don't have as much everyday experience with what a Pascal is. An atmosphere being just the typical atmospheric pressure of air at sea level or around there. So for the ideal gas, we get 2.074 atmospheres. And for the Van der Waals gas, pressure according to the Van der Waals equation of state, it's going to be 2.079 atmospheres. Okay, so let's see how these compare. You'll notice that they're very close to each other. We have only a difference of 0 0.005 atmospheres. That's a difference of about 0.2%, and that's because we're still fairly dilute. We're only a little bit more, uh, we're only a little bit more, shall we say, dense than typical atmospheric conditions. We're at a pretty standard uh, temperature there. That would be zero Celsius and only a little bit more, only a little bit more pressure than atmospheric, about twice that. So a typical uh, standard atmosphere would, would have about half that amount of gas in it in this type of, uh, in this type of volume of a box. But you'll notice uh, how small this B, this molecular size parameter, how small it is relative to the molar volume that we calculated. You know, it's at least three orders of magnitude smaller. And also this A parameter, this parameter for the strength of the interactions, um, it also doesn't affect this calculation very much. So you get a very small deviation there, which is why the ideal gas law can be used so much at fairly typical concentrations and and temperatures of gases is because uh, for most typical gases the deviations away from that aren't very strong for these type of uh, modest conditions.